Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name's Alexander Marsh, and this is a Magic Review. Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. Today is the last day of 1914 week. We've been looking at videos, releases, products from the 1914.com all week long, and it's been a blast. Super huge thank you to Louis Laval, D. Christopher, Alexander Marsh, everybody down there at the 1914 for making our openers and our bumpers. Uh, it's been a ton of fun, and I hope you've had a chance to go down there and visit the website to see all of their new releases. Today, we're gonna look at the art of stagecraft by Alexander Marsh, uh, or TAO, right? It says TAO at the beginning of that. That stands for The Art Of. And actually, Dee told me that the TAO series going forward will be reserved for theory-based projects, like maybe the business side of magic, or maybe a study on comedy-based magic, or how to best use social media. D and the 1914 have a bunch of ideas that they would like to see done. But remember, their ultimate goal with their platform isn't necessarily to give you more tricks, but to make you a better magician. All right, the art of stagecraft, two hours and five minutes. Two hours and five minutes. This is a download, a download about working on stage, performing on stage, and everything that that encompasses. Like perhaps uh, maybe you're hired as a one-time thing to, to do a, a magic show, or, or you're on the road, right? And you're going into new places and promoting yourself either on radio or TV. Alexander Marsh is gonna cover as much as he can for you in this two hour jam packed masterclass on the art of stagecraft. Only available at the 1914.com, $34 American, so about 25 pounds. Like I said, download two hours, five minutes. What is on this video? What are they gonna teach you? You're gonna get lots of shots. You're gonna get main shots, side shots. Uh, Alexander's sitting in a theater for the most part. He is well mic'd, there's no music, and it's filmed very conversational. He's gonna walk you through everything, starting with your internal process. What is the process for how you do mentalism? In other words, how do you read minds? Did you study? Are you a keen observer? Or do you have some sort of super power? Did you find one day that the dead speak to you? How is it that you are able to be a mentalist? And yes, of course, it's all fake, but you need to know how that fake process works. Then he's gonna to talk to you about your persona. Who are you as a mentalist? What is your character? Are you serious? Are you funny? Are you a card shark? Are you a bumbler? Are you loud? Who are you on stage? What is the character you are trying to project? Next up, he's gonna talk about scripting. He's gonna talk about full scripts, either being written down word for word, or a more organic approach. He's gonna ask you what your style is, which will take you to structuring all of your effects, structuring your routines, and structuring your shows. And this is my favorite part. He goes to an empty stage, stands on the stage, and shows you his entire process for blocking and rehearsing. Alex is gonna walk you through a routine, a routine that he does currently, where he divines a piece of information from two different spectators. He's gonna show you step-by-step step how he maps out the entire routine with a blank stage, a chair, a table, and a microphone stand. He talks out loud through his mental process, what he's thinking, how he scripts and blocks through the entire trick. In the next part, he's gonna to talk to you about putting it all together. And he's gonna start off by talking about what he has learned from stand-up comics that he knows. And as he was speaking about the process and you know, perhaps comparing magic to the components of a joke, I found it very similar to the opening lines of The Prestige. Do you remember that opening line? I would encourage you to go and look it up where uh, they talk about how every trick, every act consists of three different parts. You're always gonna want a beginning, a middle, and an end to your tricks and to your routines. And I think most of us, where we go wrong is we only perform with two elements. And I think a lot of us jump right to the middle and then take it to the end without properly ever setting the stage. 
creating that story, creating that environment before we get to the magic. Then he's gonna take you through the structure of a trick and he's gonna apply that same philosophy to the routine, how we structure that, and how you would structure an entire show. And again, he mixes it in with what he knows about both magic and comedy and what he's learned from stand-up comics. As an extra added bonus, he's actually gonna talk about structuring a close-up act as well. He's gonna give you some really cool advice on timing, how you time your opener, your middle, and your ending, and uh, he's gonna explain why you would perform a short trick as opposed to a long trick. Next, he's gonna talk about openers. You know, we always see like ad copy and, and the ad copy says, this is perfect for your opener. Alex is gonna give you five words that are gonna help you clearly lock in with laser focus how you can pick the perfect trick for your opener. As we start to narrow in more and more and more, uh, Alex is then gonna focus on material. He's gonna talk to you about how to uh, pack light, you know, how to get your props to work more for you, how to get the most out of your props. Don't, don't work for your props, have your props work for you. And then he's gonna transition that into working with your audience and working uh, in your setting and how you pick your style and your theme based on your audience and your setting. He's then gonna go back to the stage environment. He's gonna have a full uh, microphone in front of you and he's gonna walk you through how to use a stand-up mic, both when you, you know, pop it off and you use it as handheld or uh, when it's on the stage and you're using both of your hands. Um, I know personally for me, as part of my job, I use a microphone every week. I use a microphone every week. And I remember when I first got employed, uh, a lot of my audience members told me that I talked way too fast. And I didn't understand that. I, I, I kept thinking, oh, I, I slowed it down even more. And they would say, oh, you still talk too fast. And I would say, I slowed it down even more. And they say, you still talk too fast. And what I found was, it wasn't that I was talking too fast. It was that I was talking uh, without enunciating all my words, right? And I wasn't speaking clearly. You can talk fast, people can talk fast, but it's enunciating and hitting all those words, making sure that you're separating your words from one another, then people can hear all the words. Um, I think another piece of advice that he gives that I've found true to be even in my own life, Another aspect of my job uh, is to go other places and to be in venues and serve as a speaker in venues. And I'll show up to a gig and I'll be there and I'll say, hey, I'm, I'm the speaker. And the guy that's running the sound will say, okay, here's your mic. And I'll be like, this is a handheld. And he's like, yeah, that's all I got. I'm like, I, I can't use a handheld. Like I need my hands. <laughs> I need my hands for things. I can't just hold a microphone the entire time. I said, do, you have a, do you have a microphone stand? And they'd say, no. I thought, do, you have a, do you have a lavalier? No. So I, one piece of advice is always have a backup lavalier, probably in your car. Always have a backup microphone stand in your car. And Alexander's gonna shift over to public relations, PR. He's gonna talk about how to promote your gigs, both you know through paper or print ad, through social media. He's gonna talk about how you would work with local journalists, local newspapers, how to make a commercial, how to put together a show reel for TV. He's gonna talk about radio and how to use all that to get future gigs. How do you get more shows? Uh, he, he'll show you, he'll show you his own uh, cut together show reel of what his show reel looks like. And then there's a closing outro. Positives, all right, so what are the positives? Uh, this video is perfect for anyone who is planning on making a career out of performing on stage. Really, okay? That's where this focuses in. And I, and I think the negative goes hand in hand with that. The negative would be, this is two hours, right? Two hours is an awfully long time to spend if you're not quite there yet, right? If you're not quite, if you, if you don't have any gigs coming up, and you're, you don't see yourself performing on stage for a while, then definitely put this off, okay? This is education, and I'd say, who would like this? People who are already on stage, I think, would definitely need this. Uh, definitely people that are thinking about promoting themselves in the area and starting to get work, or if you're thinking about it now at the beginning, just before it gets there, like you're thinking, you know what? I think now I need to start putting together a show. I think now I need to start putting together an act. I think now I need to start thinking about performing on stage. If you're at the beginning and you're thinking about getting there, or you think, you know, maybe I'll be there in a year, then definitely pick this up and glean, right? 
sit at the feet of somebody who's done this, glean from a mentor, and learn about the art of stagecraft. But don't just take my word for it, don't. There are plenty of other magic review channels out there and you should always be watching them. Craig Petty's Magic TV. Craig Petty's Magic TV. Still, at this time, I think is the only other person that's reviewed any of these. Uh, definitely go down, check his channel out, give him a like and a follow, subscribe to his channel. He puts out great content. He puts out a lot of content. He is killing it right now on content. Check him out. All right, that's everything I can say about the art of stagecraft, Alexander Marsh, the 1914, only available at the1914.com. I want to thank D. Christopher, Alexander Marsh, Louis Laval for all the help that they uh, gave me this week. It was amazing. They are such generous guys, such nice guys. $34 at the1914.com. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.